Hello and welcome to another walkthrough of an assignment for our Postgres course. So this assignment is the uh, multi-track database. This is our first assignment uh, where we're going to load some CSV data into a database uh, using the copy command. We're going to have a running theme of doing this as we normalize our data, but this is uh, starts out as a very simple one. So let's go ahead and uh, get into it. So the key to this is it's going to read its data not from commands that you type, but instead from a database. And so there's this CSV file. Um, you somehow have to get it into your home directory. And one of the ways you could do it would be to click on this, download it to your computer, and then use an upload button and then put it in here. But I'm going to show you a way that you can sort of do that more directly by going into a terminal. And if you look in this terminal, I am currently in my home directory, which is the same as uh, that thing we're seeing. This is my home directory. That's they're both the same thing. Um, and I can type in and I can either type a wget command or the curl command. And in this case, I've got wget installed on this particular uh, system. And so if I do an ls minus l, I see that this file library.csv was downloaded. And then I see that it's also downloaded here. And so if I had downloaded it to my computer and then uploaded it here, it would have ended up getting here one way or the other. By doing this wget command, I am able to just get it here directly. So let's take a quick look. Um, let's look at nano library.csv. And um, what is this? This is a comma separated values with a, um, a title, a artist, an album, uh, I think it's a rating, some other stuff, and how long it is. So this is basically just a comma-separated value, uh, and that's we're going to load that into our database. Okay. So uh, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to hop into our uh, database, go back, grab our password, paste that in. Here we are. Take a look at the tables. We've got some tables. Of course, this debug helps us debug the debugger. Metadata is where the auto grader stashes its own stuff. Leave that one alone. And result tells us what our grade is. So the next thing we have to do is we have to create a table. Believe me, in future assignments, I won't be giving you every command. Right now, I just want you to be able to go through this flow and know how to manage data, how to get things in and out. So this table is a, going to have a column for every column in the CSV in the same order. And they're all text fields, although the count rating and length are integer fields. Now, this data is clean. You might We later might have data that's not so clean, but for now, it's going to all work out pretty good. Then what we do is we run this copy command. Now, the copy command is kind of weird in that what it does is it reads from this file, library.csv, and it knows that it's a CSV file. Later, we'll add a put header here. This one doesn't have a header on it. Sometimes CSV files, the first line's a header. And this is basically saying, parse these things and place each of the fields. They don't have to be in the same order. Title, artist, column, count. So that's the order in the file. And this is the, this is the fields. Can, you can have all the fields in this table, but we're not going to do it. So we just do this. And so this, so this is kind of a weird thing in that we're running this command on a piece of software called PGSQL or PSQL on our laptop. It's reading our local files or on our Linux or wherever it is. It's reading this local file library CSV. It's parsing it, and then it's doing a bunch of insert statements to place them in there. So we can take a look at what's there. We can say select title album from track raw limit three, and that'll show us this stuff. And then we can take a look and say, yeah, it looks about right. So we think we've got it loaded properly. This is not the most difficult of assignments. So let's check to see if our answer is right, where the auto grader is now going to make its own database connection. And it's good. So we've got a, a score of one. Um, and away we go. And so that accomplishes uh, this assignment for the musical track database. Coming up, we'll actually do a lot more sophisticated things uh, with this load, um, this copy command and CSV data. Thanks for watching.